haven't even dressed yet. I clipped my toenails. The wedding's in half an hour. It was a project clipping my toenails. Your suit's in the closet. I had it pressed for you. I even shaved. And under this robe, I'm manscaped. Oh. <laughs> I wanted to look sharp. What is that smell? Oh, hotel lotion. I am all slicked up and messy. <laughs> This wedding, it's clothing optional. Huh, that can't be true. Here, read the invitation. <laughs> uh, blah, 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 do cordially invite Turn you. Turn it over. We'll offer a buffet of gluten-free and vegan foods. I'm looking forward to that. And we encourage Here guests. Here we go. We encourage guests to embrace our clothing optional lifestyle. I am fully embracing. No. <laughs> oh yes, I am. Put your suit on. Oh, I love this breeze. <laughs> <laughs> and when I stand over this airbed. <laughs> I don't know, but I have questions. <laughs> I've bought them a gravy boat. Do you think the whole bridal party will be naked? What about the groomsmen? People who register for a gravy boat can't be nudists. For the father of the bride, walking the bride down the aisle with his... <laughs> Put your clothes on! They're not nudists. We're not nudists. We? I've done my research. Your research. That's right. We are gluten-free naturalists. <laughs> you are not gluten-free. I am too, and I have a bullet journal. Are you having a stroke? <laughs> Today's goal, I want to just really be in my body while fostering a healthy gut bile. <laughs> you don't have a gut bile. <laughs> I do too, and a gluten-free naked wedding is going to help me live my best life. No, <laughs> it's not, because we're not going. All of this is going. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just say I got food poisoning. <laughs> gluten is poisoning your healthy flora every single day. Maybe it's your medication. Oh, relax, the wedding is clothing optional. Cancel the car. Uh, clothing optional means you can exercise your option to wear that. <laughs> what? Nothing, you look very nice. <laughs> Etiquette says that an afternoon wedding calls for a dressy afternoon dress. Is that what that is? You hate it. I don't hate this. You do too. I don't love it. I could tell from your tone of voice. It's just a lot of the... Uh... Well, under that robe, there's a lot of too. Oh, you don't like my naked body. It's not that I don't like it. I wonder if the cater waiters will also be naked. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. Do cater waiters at a naked wedding even have a choice? What you have is fine. It could be worse. You wouldn't want to get too close to all that sterno. <laughs> I just thought there would be what? more to the... We got our kids braces, mm -hmm. and we sent them to college, mm -hmm. and we're on our third roof. Do you think I have time to wear onion rings? Go wedding! <laughs> Put your suit on and let's go. I could just really go for some onion rings in bed. <laughs> I thought we'd have more hobbies together. I don't know, bird watching or harpooning. That's why when it comes to the naked lady, I'm all in. <laughs> well, I can't stand in a buffet line with naked people. Oh, I really picture it. It does make me feel vulnerable. <laughs> All of those tongs. <laughs> I can't sit at one of those round tables. Where do I tuck my napkin? <laughs> well, I can't face one more day where we don't do anything new. We do new things together all the time. Name one. 
pickleball. Oh, you and pickleball. You wanted to try pickleball. You had been coasting on our pickleball gambit for months. Well, you didn't even bother to learn anything about pickleball. I know pickleball combines elements of tennis, badminton, and ping pong. It's called table tennis. I know it was invented on Bainbridge Island in 1965. Well, I found the leaf and borrowed racket. Well, we should would have shown up if I hadn't had the idea. Oh, you make my <laughs> head hurt. Now, those pickleball guys. Legend has it it was a Sunday afternoon and they were bored. How many times do I have to hear the pickleball story? They couldn't find any shuttle cars. So Please don't say. <laughs> <laughs> they couldn't find any shuttle. <laughs> so they rounded up some plywood, a buckle ball, and now look! <coughs> look at what? The parking lot? Look at the future. A future with pickleball. People love it. <sighs> the wedding is in 20 minutes. Get dressed. No. This isn't funny anymore. I want to improvise like those pickleball inventors. I journaled it. See, it's a weekly goal. <laughs> How about when we get home? You know, home? people think that Pickleball was named after a dog named Pickle. When we get home. But the dog was named for Pickleball. Don't you hear <gasps> When we get home, let's check out that new tapas restaurant. <laughs> that sounds different. Small plates. Tapas means small plates. I know what tapas means. You get all these small plates for sharing. That sounds frustrating. I went there last week by myself. You went there without me? I go places. But we were going to try it together. I got tired of waiting. Uh, you're wrong, miss. <laughs> what? I'll just turn around while you retire. <laughs> There's nothing you haven't seen uh, under this road that you haven't seen before. It's sometimes just a lot. Ah, a car's downstairs. The driver's waiting. You can't walk out of here in a hotel robe in slippers. But it'll be a great story to tell in pickleball. <laughs> <laughs> Need a gravy boat for it. Oh, please be quiet. I'm sending you a new invitation. <laughs> and this party is clothing optional. <laughs>